now let us discuss about simplification of regular expressions by using identity rules or algebraic laws okay uh, we have totally 12 rules are there so by using those rules we have to simplify the regular expression okay here two examples are there so this is uh, first example so 1 plus 0 0 star 1 plus 1 plus 0 0 star 1 into 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star into 0 plus 1 0 star 1 is equal to 0 star 1 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star okay so this is nothing but LHS whereas this is nothing but RHS so in the examination the question uh, may be given as prove that so we have to prove this one we have to prove LHS and RHS are equal or we can call this as simplification of the regular expression so we are simplifying this big regular expression into a smaller regular expression like this and this is the second example so first let us solve the first example what is the first example 1 plus 0 0 star 1 here we know that plus means uh, uni union operation this dot means uh, concatenation operation star means uh, clean closure plus means positive closure if we have 0 0 plus then it is called as the positive closure okay plus 1 plus 0 0 star 1 into 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star into 0 plus 1 0 star 1 okay so this is nothing but uh, LHS so we have to prove uh, the, uh, this as the result okay so 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star into 0 plus 1 0 star 1 so if we observe here we have two terms this is the first second term this is the first term if we observe here 1 plus 0 0 star 1 is present in the first term as well as second term so we can common the term so 1 plus 0 0 star 1 so let us common this term then we will get epsilon why because we have a formula called uh, epsilon into r is equal to r epsilon into r is equal to r so here if we, if we common this one this is epsilon epsilon into this is the regular expression epsilon into r is equal to r only okay plus so epsilon into r is equal to r so we can write this uh, term these two terms why because this is the common here so 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star into 0 plus 1 0 star 1 0 plus 1 0 star 1 so epsilon plus so this is the term uh, if we observe here so this is in the form of 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star 0 plus 1 0 star 1 so this is let us assume that this is r then it will becomes what r star it will becomes r star 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star here we have epsilon so epsilon plus r star r so we have a formula the formula for epsilon plus r r star r r star is equal to r star epsilon plus r r star is equal to what is the formula r star is the formula okay so we can write this as 1 plus 0 0 star 1 into we can write as r star okay what is r here r is nothing but 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star okay next here what is the rhs in the rhs uh, we have 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star so already we got 0 plus 1 0 star 1 whole star so before that we need to get 0 star 1 so from this term we have to obtain 0 star 1 if we observe this term here what is the common in both the terms in the left hand side we have 1 in the right hand side we have 0 0 star 1 so 1 is common so we can common 1 so we know that uh, epsilon into r is equal to r so here we will get epsilon plus 1 is common epsilon into r is equal to r only so here we will get 0 0 star okay so here the, rem the remaining term is as same it is as it is we can write and next here we have 
epsilon plus this is in the form of epsilon plus r r star what is the formula for epsilon plus r r star epsilon plus r r star is equal to r star so what is r star zero star so zero star into here we have one so we can write this as zero star one why because in r h s first we have zero star so that's why we have written first zero star into one into what is the term zero plus one zero star whole star zero plus one zero star one whole star if we observe this right hand side zero star one into zero plus one zero star one whole star so with this we can conclude that lhs is equal to rhs suppose if rhs also contains too many terms it also contains three four terms in that occasion we need to simplify rhs also then we will get some result yeah, if rhs result is also similar to lhs result then we can say that those two are equal the left hand side regular expression right hand side regular expression is equal so we can say that uh, we have proved the first one lhs equal to rhs now let us prove the second one or let us simplify the second regular expression here we have a regular expression like this so epsilon plus 1 star 0 1 1 star so let us assume that this is r then it will becomes 1 star 0 1 1 star whole star so it will becomes r star we know the formula for epsilon plus r r star what is the formula for epsilon plus r r star r star is the formula so epsilon r star is the formula so we can write this as 1 star 0 1 1 star whole star here in the rhs we have 1 plus 0 1 1 whole star here we have one term as well as 0 0 0 1 1 term here we have a formula called p star q star whole star is equal to p plus q whole star p plus q whole star in this example let us assume that this is p this is q so this is in the form of p star q star whole star what is the result p plus q whole star here what is p 1 1 plus what is q 0 1 1 p plus q whole star okay p star q star whole star is equal to what p plus q whole star so p means 1 whereas q means 0 1 1 so p plus q whole star so 1 plus 0 1 1 whole star so this is nothing but rhs only 